Hi, Humanities 4141. Uh, time for an update. Today is November 20th. It's actually the International Day of the Child. So, um, happy International Ch Child's Day or Children's Day. Of course, it's the anniversary of the UNCRC, and that's how we get this particular date itself, dating back to 1989 on November the 20th, when we see the UNCRC actually, you know, be brought to the world for all. And hopefully, you know, since that time now, as we you know, have spent you know, close to 30 years. Uh, hopefully, we, we are, we're we're seeing not just a little bit of change, but systemic change, and uh, you know, long-standing change, generation over generation. Uh, obviously, there's still lots of work to to be done, but you know, today's a day definitely to celebrate. Now, with that. Let's talk a little bit about where we are in the course and, and, and what's to come now in, in, in the next week or so. So today's the 20th of November. Uh, for this week, you are dealing with Boyd's conclusion. So let's talk about that first and foremost. What I want you to do now uh, at the end of the, this unit or at the end of this module, pretty close to the end of the term as well, is I want you to reflect back on Dana Boyd's text as a whole. Read the conclusion. Now we've read the text. You've posted several videos. And the videos, by the way, are fantastic. In particular, uh, I just finished grading the, 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 the videos on inequality and then last week on bullying. And I mean, the, the work that's being done right now in this course is extremely high level. So thank you. Thank you for continuing to engage directly with the text itself. Thank you for continuing to engage with your own real life experiences and to make connections across those and to bring in other things that you've learned from other courses and your, you know, your four years at the university and within the Children's Studies program for those of you who are majors uh, in, in the program as well. You know, it really adds a richness uh, in, in, uh, in, in texture really to, to the quality of the videos. Again, we want to keep them between two and three minutes. We don't want four and five minute videos here um, because part of the skill of the YouTube video is keeping it brief. And so I'm going to try and do that for you as well. So your task for this week with the conclusion is to reflect back on the boy text as a whole. And the, and the question is quite simple. You know, should this be a text that um, children's studies majors should be reading? Is the boy text still useful? Is it still valuable? Should it be on the syllabus again if I teach this course next summer or next fall winter? Or is the book outdated? And, is, and if it is, what's it missing? What's missing from this book to make it valuable and useful for children's studies majors? Okay, so good luck this week. Uh, you know, this is all you know, comes due on Friday. And then next week, you'll see I'm going to post on, on Monday an article, a news article. You'll read the news article, and then uh, you'll, you'll post a, your video response to the news article itself. So it'll be exactly the same as every other week in this course, except instead of reading a chapter from Dana Boyd, you'll read a newspaper article that I will post onto the Moodle. If you have any questions, send me an email, sgenero at yorku.ca. I'm always available for consultation uh, and, and if you have any concerns within the course itself. But uh, you know, keep working hard. I know November is very tough. And very challenging. Uh, the term is almost done. We have no uh, exam in, in in this course, so you are almost uh, you're you're almost clear uh, and finished the, the first term. You've done a great job, so uh, I look forward to your responses.